morning students now we are going to take up the next topic that is dispersal of seeds now children as you know plants and trees are fixed in one place they cannot move now if the baby plant as you know the seed grows into seedling upon which the seed is broken and from there we get the seedling and we go into leaves and then the plants now if the seeds grow means the baby plant grow near the mother plant each of them have been some of these they are growing very close to each other then they do not get enough sunlight or the food and warmth they need from the soil or from the sunlight or the water so they do not grow properly so there are various agents things that help the seeds to move from one place to another from the mother plant to some other place and that helps them to grow this is called dispersal of seeds now coming to dispersal of seeds seeds disperse means to go and they disperse and right? the end of the day when the school is over you disperse and you go to uh, your uh, vehicles and you go back home so that is dispersal means going from one place to another seeds have to get scattered or dispersed so that they get favorable condition to grow we have said that there are three favorable condition for which help the seeds to grow are the water and the sunlight and the heat warm so this warm or sunlight water and food so these are the things you need the conditions to grow but uh, if uh, one is missing and the seeds will not go into so so uh, that's why dispersal of seeds is very important there are various agents agents means things that help the seeds to disperse or scatter from one place to another one first thing is wind now seeds that are light and have layers of wings they are be able to disperse by the wind that you mean Uh, you know when the wind blows, you see how it uh, takes the things like the sand and the dust particles from one place to another. Similarly, the seeds are very light and they are airy and they have wings. They can be dispersed from one place to another. Heavy seeds cannot go. The light seeds can go. Mango seed, which cannot be dispersed by the wind, but a cotton seed. It can be dispersed by the wind. I'll just show you the picture. Children, observe very carefully. By wind, you can see how they are hairy. Okay, so these they have to be hairy or wings. Okay, have you seen uh, cotton? It's very light. It has little hairy, and that is why. they can be dispersed by the by the wind yes the next agent is water uh, how water helps the seeds to move from one place to another or scatter from one place to another if the seeds are fibrous coat or spongy spongy and they float in the water helps to float this water you know when water flows in the sea was many uh, things flow in the water isn't it when we go to the river side we don't you see many uh, fruits or uh, vegetable part or something from the pollen of the tree it has to be like if it is heavy it will go inside the water but if it is fibrous or spongy we are able to float in the water i'll show you how water can you see this see so the examples are coconut and lotus as you see the lotus has this whole uh, it flows and coconut also it has the spongy part and that's why it helps the seeds to float in the water so this is the second second agent children coming to the next agent is animals How animals uh, they disperse? Now some seeds have hooks or spines. 
pages. And they get stuck in the hairy skin of animals. Now, I don't know animals means uh, we human beings also. I don't know whether you have seen sometimes when you walk in the field some grasses, the spear grass, they get uh, stuck to your clothes and you know, some seed type of thing they, they get stuck to. Uh, have you seen this beggar sticks? I hope you must have seen this because it happens to me also that when I went to some field, these things they got stuck to my uh, clothes. So they are those signs and hooks which uh, get st stick in your uh, the body of animals or human beings uh, and this you can see they have signs and this and they get stuck and this is how we carry we the animals carry the seeds from one place to another and they grow. So this is how the dispersal of seeds uh, happen through animals. And the last one is explosion. Explosion means not an explosion of some bomb or something. It is bursting and bursting and we must have seen the peas. But the peas uh, pour, burst and uh, seeds come out. So uh, the bursting of seeds when we are dry and so from there it goes to the place that you see the dusting, even these also happens. So these are the different agents by which uh, the dispersal of seeds occur. Dispersal of seeds is very important for seeds to grow because if they are in one place they will not grow at all. Some they will not get uh, essential things which are needed for plants to grow so they should be scattered and they do this way uh, with the help of wind, animal, water and explosion or bursting the seeds which uh, they grow on the page and they thank you